Okay, that's Black Flag, six-pack. That's the 45 version. And then before that, you heard Little Richard doing Tutti Frutti. Social Distortion did Playpin. Orchestra Maneuver is in the dark, did Georgia. And The Cure did Charlotte Sometimes. And Emifrix did uh, Belinda. I'd like to welcome in the studio tonight, Black Flag. The flag has made it. <laughs> hey, what's happening? <laughs> It's all happening. It's all happening. <laughs> we just got back from... Hey, that's my line. We played a party in um, Hemet tonight. Well, tonight you played in Hemet? Yeah, it was a great time. We played in Hemet. What, <coughs> what was happening? A friend of mine, a friend of ours named Manny. Mm -hmm. I played SSD. Out there, a sun, Sunday night. Sunday night party. There about pretty many people there. It was real fun. It was real cool. And the, dust, yeah. the cesspool was bubbling up. Yeah, cesspool yeah. came out of the backyard. It's like wilderness out there, you know? You're kidding. Cesspool rock. Like vicious coyotes. <laughs> Well, wow. Hemet's pretty far from here, isn't it? How far is it? Yeah, it's like um, right Half on the other side of the mountains Diego. from Palm Springs. Halfway to San Diego. Really? 70 miles from San Diego. Wow. So, it was cool, though. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there who would never Scarlet probably go to gigs, but um, traitors. wanted to know what was Some going on. So, yeah. they yeah. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> so what's been happening with Black Flag? Have you been playing any gigs locally, like in Hollywood or Los Angeles? It's pretty or, hard for us. It's kind of hard, huh? Yeah, it's pretty hard. Well, you got one back coming out, and clubs don't want to have anything to do with it. Well, Jerry what? Roach let us play a few times. Um, yeah, that's nice. Well, there's only a few times, so many times you can play in one club. Mm -hmm. We've been playing out of town a lot. Like we're gonna play in San Francisco on this Thursday and Friday, and we're gonna play in Riverside on Saturday, mm -hmm. and we're gonna play in Santa Barbara I guess, on Sunday. Yeah, I heard, I heard so Santa been Barbara's been booking a lot of shows up there, a lot of good, you know, yeah, shows. Yeah, it's a lot easier for us to play out of town, so we've been doing that. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get something happening. We'll probably play in L.A. in December, because we're gonna go over to, um, we're gonna tour. In no, January. We'll be, January. We're playing, yeah, in January in L.A. Because during um, December and the end of November, we're going to be touring. We're going to go to um, the East Coast and the South and all of that and spread it around a little bit. Right, right. And go over there and um, play in England. I don't know what that's going to be like over there. It seems like, well, I have no idea. I don't know what it's like over there. Mm -hmm. A little different, a lot different than the Midwest, that's for sure. That's for that sure, was the really. the thing we did on the last tour. Yes, so, Greg, why don't you introduce everybody and tell everybody who's here tonight? Okay, I'm Greg. Chuck's here. Des. Hi. Henry. Hello. Ro Robo's still in here. here. Getting the equipment together. Mm -hmm. no. Squad, our producer's Spot's here, too. Here. He's mm -hmm. filling in for Robo. Dave, and Dave, who drove us, he's here, too. <laughs> you know Spot from way back, right? Yeah, he, he, used, he used to be a photographer. He's got some shots of um, Gene Vincent, right? Me with Gene Vincent. And you got some Billy Zoom shots. Some yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good when he had long hair. <laughs> <laughs> really. So H Henry is like kind of legendary here. He's um, from the band SOA, who I've played um, many times on the show. Tell me about this label. It's an interesting label. Okay, well, um, that's the Discord label. Mm -hmm. And that was formed by me, my best friend Ian, who's in Minor Threat. He's in a new band now. But anyhow, it was formed by me, Ian, with some guys from the Teen Idols. Mm -hmm. I got all those records here, yeah. Teen Idols. And yeah, it was for, with Jeff and, Na Jeff and Nathan from the Teen Idols. We just got this label together and started putting records out. And um, well, Where's this label at? Washington, it's from Washington. Mm -hmm. where this is a label that we all sat, sat around and put together a couple of summers ago. And we've got four singles out. We're putting out a 12-inch compilation of all DC stuff. It's got unreleased SOA, unreleased Teen unreleased Idols, mm -hmm. unreleased all kinds of stuff. And um, there's going to be a lot of new stuff coming out because SOA, after I left SOA, they reformed and they debuted last, last the night before last Friday night. They're called The Faith. And I talked to a lot of people in D.C., and they say uh, it, they just destroyed. They say they were fantastic. Great. Right, it's right. got um, the new singer is my best friend's little brother. Really? Yeah, wow. it's just like, just goes nuts. You think all these bands that come out to L.A. or no. San Francisco, there's no place to play in L.A. Why am I well, saying that? There's a lot right? of money. There's <laughs> a lot of money to get on the road. I mean, yeah. It costs a lot of money. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, but some of them will. The bad still. brains might be coming out here, and they're fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. I've been oh, getting it here. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know really? you play oh, them. Some of the best band on the East Coast. I'll give you some. Yeah, I got some cassettes. There's some like reggae stuff that the bad brains. So they might be coming out in uh, maybe end of December or January, something like that. Hopefully, mm-hmm. but I don't know what they can get together in L.A. Oh. But they're pl- you know they'll play in San Francisco and stuff. Okay. Like that. Now I know the Black Flag had a press conference and uh, something <laughs> went down. <laughs> And yeah. <laughs> other label. What t- Free t- food. T- raw good food there. Yeah. Well, well, it's, well, it's, 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 it's I eat chowed. <laughs> 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 no, no, what, what's the story between um, Black Flag and MCA and Capricorn and all that? Capricorn. Okay, it's Unicorn. kind of it's kind of an evolved story. <laughs> Same thing. <right? laughs> well, Same it's kind thing. of a, it's kind of an evolved story. Um, our label is SST Records, right, yeah. which we have maintained, and we put out a few other bands too sometimes. And we made this deal with Unicorn Records and to distribute uh, some of our records, mm-hmm. and they had a distribution deal with MCA. And after, uh, you know, it, we so. We print up all our covers and got ready to put out our record, and then they refused to do it. After they Mm -hmm. had already approved it, then Mm -hmm. they refused to put it out. So Unicorn took all their stuff away from uh, MCA, and they set up another distribution deal. So our new record is that's coming out is still distributed by unicorn but it's not distributed by mca mm. the distribution that they have now is like the same thing that motown has well i know that unicorn's doing a good job because i looked in all the dj's mailboxes here and it's like boxes all filled you know and we yeah they try to drop those in ourselves it's, <laughs> it's like a it's like a real small label but mm-hmm. it's like we want to be able to do the covers that we want to do and we want to do, be able to do the music we want to do without people saying well why don't you do this why don't you do that you know so right. so so is, is mca saying uh, saying no. that, that their parents and uh, you guys are anti-parents or something it was it was mm-hmm. funny the guy the guy had a re- had the record they were concerned about like us swearing on the record and all mm-hmm. that right but isn't everybody so gave, swearing on records pretenders the, well, and all that they gave we gave them the tape and they go, well, okay, this is this is fine. These guys are light lightweight on the swearing level. Mm-hmm. So, the we we press the record covers up and all that. We get it all happening. We've got twenty five thousand covers. It's got their big logo on the back mm-hmm. and all that garbage. <laughs> and um, then one week and a weekend passes. On Monday morning, he calls up and it just goes, I can't have this happening. These guys are socially they're they're morally bankrupt. <laughs> They have no what? redeeming, so they're not Simon and Garfunkel or Bob Dylan. These guys are in bad taste beyond the point of socially redeeming value. As a parent of two daughters, I can't let this happen. That's what and he said. He's, he's been talking hate. to Rolling Stone overnight. Oh, no. So, um, <laughs> you should buy his daughters to win yeah, the show. It's like... It's I wonder like, who his daughters are. Yeah, well, are they teenage yeah, yeah. or what? <laughs> what are their phone numbers? Send out their uh, girls call up. Give us a call. It, <laughs> it's, a, it's kind of a problem. Uh, the labels that are, you know, the big labels, they don't really want to understand what, you know, new. Yeah, yeah but kind of aren't the smaller labels do. doing better though? Because you get, you know, don't you get more money for a smaller label than the big labels? Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I mean here you're going around taking it. You have more and, control of, mm-hmm. of what you want to do. That's that's the main thing, really. You don't have as good distribution, um, but you've just got a lot more control. I mean, look look at uh, Slash. They're doing really well with X and all that. Yeah, well, it's just off Slash, it's so. just hard. Off already? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the distribution is is real difficult with with a real small label. Mm-hmm. Robo's here. Hey, hey Robo. Like you want you want to pound hey, people over the head with something a little bit, and um, they like limit the number that you're allowed to reach mm-hmm. with a small label. Um, not that I'm not into the big label thing or anything like that, but because it's it's the small labels that really let it happen. People like posh and people like that who actually get out there and are big fans of the of the bands and will put some effort behind what's going on yeah you did put one out on posh's label louie louie right 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what people don't understand. Yeah, a label yeah. like you know Posh Boy has, he does a great job. I mean, people can't expect to sell a million records because it's really hard. The promotion, the distribution, and he does a he does a great job. He does a lot of advertising, and he really pushes. And that's the because bands. there's no middleman. He does it all himself. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. he's he's great. Okay, let's hear a cut off of um, the album. Damage. Is this album? I've been getting a lot of phone calls, and people want to know: Is it in the stores yet, or when's it going to be in the stores? No, I it's think it's sometime. sometime this think, week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think they're going to ship it. Uh, start shipping Monday. Yeah, something like that. Right. Play but, Rise Above. Okay. Well, we got um, six pack queued up. We heard the forty-five six pack. We're going to hear uh, another version. Well, what's the difference? Like Henry's singing on this well, I'm one. I'm singing on it, and also it's just. Yeah. L listen to the end. Mugger, Mugger <laughs> sings on it. Really? And is, there yeah, and me. is there a rumor that Posh is, is yelling? Posh is yeah. singing. Posh, Posh is on singing on this. Are you Robbie's serious? singing on this. Okay. Yes. Hey, you know, check this out. I don't get to sing on it, but Posh gets to. I hope a lot of you were there. You should have come by. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 punk rockers out there are, are disgusted by that. <laughs> he, he happened to come by. And, yeah, he happened to come by, and we said we pushed Bumping him in the, the pump, studio. Gave him some headphones and said, "Sing." Check this out. Everybody in the in Black Flag sings on this album. Even Mugger and Spot sing on this album. And Robo. And Robo sings You're on kidding, it. Right? Yeah, and TV Party. Bro. Greg sings. <laughs> Chuck sings. Earl. Hi, Earl. Earl. From Sacramento. What about Dez? Sings, Dez singing. Boy. Are you yeah. singing? Oh, Dez yeah. sings. Yeah, Dez <laughs> sings a lot on it. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Here's another version of Six Pack, Black Flag. Okay, that's Black Flag. TV Party. You got everything mentioned in that, didn't you? Like all the shows that are yeah. happening? Yeah, all our favorite, favorite shows. Yeah, all our favorite shows. Tells you what to tune into. Okay, then we heard Iggy doing I Got a Right, and then we heard uh, Black Flag doing a six pack off of the album, which should be coming out shortly. And uh, we got a couple of commercials here. So, so Chuck, what's coming up? Okay. Second Time Around Records, across the street from Fairfax High on Melrose, offers the latest English rock news at discount prices. Second Time Around is full of import and local releases, and will also rent. LPs. It's the place to sell your used LPs and other quality musical stuff at top cash prices. And second time around, sells used LPs from 20 cents up. I'd urge local record companies to bring their stuff in so second time around can sell it. They're at 7809 Melrose. Open from 12 to 7, Monday through Saturday. Give them a call at 852-1982. That number again, 852-1982. Go there or be square. Okay, that was Spot. California Milk Advisory promo 10. Here's a message from the California Milk Advisory Board. There's nothing like a complete breakfast of milk for the lift you'll need to keep you going all day long. I can't go without it. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm next. I want to dedicate this promo to the descendants. Don't forget to tune in to the K-Rock Classic Albums with your host, the one and the only Rodney Bagerheimer. Sunday night from 7 to 10, brought to you by Wiener Schnitzel. Welcome to the Wiener Schnitzel. May I take your order, please? Yeah. I want. You want Bill Sperm with that? Okay, that's the descendants there. We're here with Black Flag. They're here live in the studio. <laughs> So, Chuck, I want to ask you about SST. Who else is going to be signing with SST? Who else do you have? You have like, Minutemen? Signing is kind of a joke, but we're going to put out the Minutemen. The, um, sure. the Minutemen record just came out. That's, right? that's an album, right? The Punchline. And um, mm -hmm. Sacred is going to come out. Sacred and we're going to do a um, album with the Meat Puppets, which are my current favorite band. That's really? Are you serious? Out for a while. It's not even recorded yet. Oh, about the old months and months from now. Because we're like them. Well, we got, we got to play some meat puppets. We got to get cover to it. And the money keeps flowing through it. Well, we got to play some meat puppets a little bit later. But let's hear um, the Posh Boy version of Louie Louie. It's on the Posh Boy label, yeah. a Black Flag. Go, 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 go. Ah! Okay, that was uh, the Simple Tones. That was a, a punk rock oldie, right? Wish I wasn't such a kook, you know. That was California. Oh, Johnny Angel. And then before that, we heard the DKs doing Dog Bite. And then the Child Molesters, uh, Chuck brought that one along, doing uh, Hillside Strangler. And then what was that, the Oil Tasters? Yeah, the Oil yeah. Tasters. What was that it one? It was for Ray. Called? That's when Greg 
goes through the window. No, we won't dedicate it this time. Okay. Last time we dedicated stuff, the FBI uh, came down uh, here. Yeah. I know. Because I can't believe it. Okay. And before that, we heard Circle One doing a one chord, and they did another song doing nothing. And then uh, we heard Black Flag doing uh, Louie Louie off the 45. Don't miss the Wild West pre-holiday sale. Right now, you can save 20. Don't kill me. Okay, right now, you can save 20% store-wide at all California Wild West stores. Sale ends today. <laughs> you actually have about anyway, an hour. No, no, no. Oh, so in a yeah. serious vein, I'm going to, you know, we've come a long way with this whole thing and all of that. And I wanted to like offer advice to new bands that are trying to make it. Yeah. yeah. How can right. they make it? Making it. Now you know there, there's several important factors. You know, there's the, the the record contract and the name, putting the act together. Definitely important. Yes. The the, the, the structure of the act is. But very you start important. with the name. You start with a name. Names have to have elements that people can relate to. Right. Like Jody and, Foster's Army. And that, that fit, that's a good name. Army. Yeah. Yes. Army. Yes. But they have to ca contain, if you're going to be a good, a good band in this new scene, you have to have certain elements going for you. The name should contain one, if not all, of these elements. It should have social, to say that you're with it. And like part you're of the partying. whole happen, mm -hmm. happening you're thing, that you're, partying, <laughs> you're a bro. Yeah. Right? Like that, 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 you're, that you're, yeah, you're partying and you're getting down. You know? And youth, that, you know, yeah. you're young you're and you're, you're, young, you're, you're, you're with it. Yeah. Right, youth, you know, the, 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 the virility, right? Mm -hmm. You know, premature ejaculation. Oh, 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 oh. Um, <laughs> then, like, it's good to, like, to, to hit people with something heavy and powerful, like a military unit. Like regiment, brigade, army, army, anything like that. You string them together. Something like social youth army would be happening. Colors are happening. Or okay. descending social mm -hmm. youth. Descending social youth. Or red descending social, social youth, youth, youth army. army. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, no, now that, Dan, would be You've popular You've got like four overnight. elements working for you. I mean, hey, you, how could you lose? Battalion. And then you've got yeah. to get control of your sound. You, you, know? you get your Very sound. Or a social you have army. To, you have to pin down your sound. Decide social what style social, social you're going to do. And push that style. Put it together. Make sure that no extraneous elements. Say you've got a bass player who's into jazz or something. Out you've got to, make, you've got to make sure if he's in the band, he doesn't write songs. I mean, you don't want to let any of these like, extraneous elements into your pure music. No way. That, that you got to purify the act. One line, one channel, hardcore, pure, all the way. Yeah. All the way. Charlie all Parker. We're going to play, we're gonna we, play we got, some I mean, examples of bands I mean, hey. that, that couldn't quite get it together, that, you know, there, they fall short. Maybe they're missing a few of them. You look at all these records, you know, we, we bring these records along. Sure, I like a lot of them, but I know the weaknesses of them. That's why they're on... I mean, you look at them, I mean, there's no record contract. I mean, what's this? This is like um, Bomp Records or like Danger um, House. Bad Trip Records or Danger House. Obviously, or Joke Labels. New joke, Obviously. it's what the, the word for it is vanity. V vanity Labels. Vanity Body Labels. Boys. This is not, hey, where, where's the capital yeah. on this thing or the IRS or something like that? Something with some real clout, real meaning. I mean, what do these guys think they're pushing off on us? You think we're going to take this with respect? You think we're going to respect this stuff? No way. I mean, it's obvious why they're on the vanity labels. I mean, it's it's just so they want to do their thing. I mean, hmm. Who cares? Anyway, now, what to stay away from? We, we got, like, I've got a, a, <laughs> a bunch of these bands <laughs> picked out. Oh, God. And we're going we're gonna to play them. I mean, these guys, like... They blow it on every count. I just can't even believe how bad these guys are. No, this blow. is what you don't you yeah. want to the stay away the, from. The this. name the name is like not sexy. It's not social. It's not anything that's gonna engage people. And it, it's like degrading meat puppets. Meat puppets. <laughs> what a yeah. joke. Yeah. We're gosh. gonna play a few examples a, a, of, of like, what to stay away the guy, from. I mean here's what I here's what I think puppets. of here's what I think of I mean I went on here's what I think of the meat puppets. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Oh, oh, weather, weather, the light blows! Um, I mean, it's just... I mean, is that a record? I mean, we gotta it's play... Not, it's, not a, <laughs> it's not a real record. It might look like it, but... Well, it I really played the Meat Puppets before. It's not one of those bandies it's, labels, you know? It's like, what do they... What's it mean? The guy doesn't What's sing. it all mean? I mean... I mean, like, yeah. you, you can't you hear, hear I mean, the lyrics. Haven't they ever thought about singing rather than screaming? Okay, look. There's nothing about hate or kill or destroy in this song. What the hell are these guys trying to get at? I mean, like, they're wasting my time getting on these records that I might actually They're never buy. gonna go anyplace. They're never gonna guys. go anyplace. They, they don't even think about their career. So now we're gonna waste your time and play it. And now we're gonna uh, waste your time and show you what to stay away from. Here. Take it away, Schwartz. Okay, that was Black Flag uh, from the Chunks album, Machine. And what else did we hear on that? We heard, what did we hear, Chuck? We heard um, all of the Meat Puppets EP. Okay, people thought you were bad rapping. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, was, was that, that disgusting or what? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, these guys don't know how to do anything but fly off the handle. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is this? Is this music or anything? I mean, <laughs> have they got any respect for the form? I just, I can't tolerate it. I mean, that's the stuff that we should weed out. We made one mistake one time. Our mistake mm -hmm. is on that record. We put it out on a vanity label, mm -hmm. on New Alliance Records. They're just, they're a vanity label. You know, chunks, you know, a compilation. We put our, we shove it under the rug over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's on that label? The Minutemen. When another group with, like, no respect for We, we apologize. Yeah. We apologize for that. Discrepancy. Yeah, but aren't there, aren't the meat puppets going to be coming out on your label and SST? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did uh, I just blow the, did I blow the joke? We're obligated by contract. Yeah. In fact, we hate them so much that we're going to be playing with them twice next week up in San Francisco. And another, we're playing with another what? lame band, Flipper, and we hate them so much that we love them and they're bad and they're great. Anyway, Robo, do your thing. Oh, okay. So I get my... Th okay. <laughs> Here's Robo, the drummer of Black Flag. Gonna okay, do no, 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 no. let's see if I can do it. Second time around records. Across the street from Fairfax High on Melrose. Don't laugh. It's the place to go to get top cash for all quality LPs and other musical stuff. Second time around carries a full line of import and local releases. English fanzines, buttons, t-shirts. And you can listen to a record before you buy it in the release station. That's good. Pick up some used LPs at second time around from just 20 cents. Never heard of that before. Be sure and sign up for a $50 reward drawing monthly. Second time around is at 7809 no. Melrose. They're open from 12 noon to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Give them a call at 852-1982. Well, and by the way, guess Robo I did it. And Robo now, for all the our heads, on our heads! We heard some Vox Pop, and what else did we hear, Chuck? Um, we heard a lot of stuff, didn't sure we? Well. Easy top. And, and Henry, what kind of calls have we been getting on the phones here? We've been getting all these people who are mad at us because we don't like, because we've been giving the meat puppets some abuse. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with these guys. I don't. I don't dislike them. I just, you know, it, it's just the vanity label thing. I mean, I, I respect. <laughs> <laughs> really? Anyway, I'd like to remind everybody. I mean, what do they want? What do they want? At 12 midnight, the young Marquis will be here, and Henry just had a chance to actually meet the young Marquis. Yeah, he's, like, he's great. He's really happy. And he's going to have Rita uh, Jarnett. It's going to be on. Did you meet her? She was in there. Yeah. It was all happening. We don't want it to end. Though. We gotta say hi yeah. to Mrs. Holtzman. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Holtzman, that's Rob's mom. She's gonna feed us all dinner. Mm -hmm. When we get over there, we're gonna go, yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme! I give me the floor! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Go ask for the floor! Stand out here like a loaded gun! Waiting to go off! I got nothing to do but shoot my mouth off! So gimme, gimme, gimme! You heard that little spot before Robo did. He's giving diction lists. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. 
No, $20 we, we, we an have, hour. No, we, we have to clarify that one reason... And you reason, know those are haircuts. Have you met Stanley? Yeah, there's Stanley. Stanley, meet Black Flag. Stanley, how are you doing? Hi, boys. Okay, okay what's going on? If I, if I may call you that. <laughs> Please go on, Stanley. I'm a big fan of yours. I'm a big fan of yours. I bet. We're going to play <laughs> dogs. And hey, Stanley, who's Stanley? on your show? Who's coming up? Oh, we did Jen Rett. And two fabulous groups that are going to be with us at the Whiskey Tuesday night, and the mysterious Dr. Zillman will be with us tonight. Well, there's rumor here that Attack's going to be here. Attack will be here. All right. The bass and Seder, the, the other attack. group. Okay. Actually, the Attack is the, do is the dogs plus what, two? Yeah. Plus two, or it's plus one. Plus one, right? Plus one. Yeah, plus one. Dogs plus one. We got some, like, dogs were one of the first bands in LA, them and like the New Order that really did anything different or, you know, that didn't sound like Led Zeppelin before the whole English thing came out. And they were my favorite band back then. My and favorite too. Okay, well let's, gonna, let's hear some play dogs. A song called Fed, Fed Up from them. They're actually down here, which is kind of a stab in the past. Um, but they're going to play, Attack is going to play at the Whiskey. Anyway, they're, they're happening, man. They're into the whole um, Detroit thing, like MC5 and Stooges and all of that. And like, and they're going to be here with Rita Jenrette. Oh, Rita's the in name? the other room. Um, and I keep wondering. No. Anyway, let's play the damage thing. Go. 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 Damage by you. Damage by me. I with you. What did we hear? We heard a lot of stuff in there. We didn't have time to even write it all in. I don't, I'm not even sure. That was Saccharine Trust. Saccharine, though. You and Certainty was about a, a quarter of the song. Mm -hmm. We heard the dogs. And we heard some Charles yeah, Manson. Damage 2. Damage 2 from us. And Part of it, anyway. Yeah, a little bit of the whole thing. And everybody who's, um, it's 12 o'clock, so get home before you turn into pumpkins and mice and things like that. We must tell people to stay tuned for... Young Marquis. Tuned, the Young Marquis busting in here, like, Marquee right Mania. now. He's yeah. happening. <laughs> Young Marquis got the heat deep dish gelatinous radio show coming at you in a few minutes, yeah. Okay, I understand, I understand Young Marquis yeah. got Rita Jen one right on. comes here. Okay, here, here's a song from the 60s. 